Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Crafting Adventures with Amy. I have notes here, so if I look down or whatever, I'm looking at my notes. I don't want to forget anything. Um, welcome to my channel, and I'd like to say welcome to any new um, subscribers, any new members of the channel, not members, subscribers. Um, and welcome back to anyone who's coming back. Um, make sure if you're not, if you're just seeing this video um, and you're not a subscriber, that you subscribe and hit the like button. My channel is about the adventures I have in crafting. I enjoy crocheting, knitting, um, tatting, paper crafts, like scrapbooking type stuff, cross stitch, and diamond painting. And there might be more or something else that I'm forgetting. I've done a little bit in sewing as well, but not a huge amount. I haven't sewn any big quilts or anything. Um, this is Easter weekend, so this is Saturday, so I'd like to say Happy Easter to anyone who celebrates the holiday. Uh, also, thanks for all the great comments. There's been a lot of really good comments on some of my videos. I try to at least heart them all. I do read them. I'm very, my schedule is very busy because I do daycare, in-home daycare, and I'm open 12 hours a day. So I'm pretty busy during the week. On the weekends, I'm busy as well. But, uh, but I try to, I'm, I'm trying to comment on all of them too now. I've, I've thought, you know, I should, I should maybe get better at commenting, replying and commenting to each video. So I'm going to try to do that. Uh, last weekend, I posted a video about my tatting, my adventures in tatting, some of the tatting things I've done. So please go watch it if you haven't already seen it. Um, you can email me at amylovescrafts at yahoo.com, and I'll put that up above here. It's kind of nice having that that um, brick fireplace area because I can put text words in there. So um, I... I do, in my tatting video, I did share these cross bookmarks that I do. I really enjoy making them. I know the pattern well enough that I don't really even have to read it to follow it. So I do enjoy making them. And then I made, I had someone ask me if I could make a heart, a tatted heart. So she did order some crosses and then I did, now this is just taped on this board because I don't want to stitch it on because it is going to get mailed out. So you can see that there's scotch tape on there. But, so I did make this tatted heart. And she did order a couple of the hearts and then a, a few, some hearts and then some crosses. So, and I have gotten a couple other people email me or talk to me or message me about things that they'd like. Um, the crosses, a color or whatever. I do sell the crosses for $5 each, um, and the one lady is paying $3 for e each for the hearts that I'm making for her. If you are interested in anything like that, just email me, and we can talk about it or figure stuff out for that. So, Now, here's a little story. A couple weekends ago, I quit touching this table. It shakes everything. A couple weekends ago, I had my sisters over for a craft day. We try to do it, I would say every month, month and a half. I try to offer it and we have a craft day. And my husband came in and handed me a hat and mentioned how he wanted, he'd wanted. he like a hat. He, he likes knitted hats because they fit on his head. You know, they fit on his head better. He does have a crocheted hat from my mom. Um, and it doesn't like snug, you know, fit the head very snug. It just kind of sits there. So when he's out working in the yard and stuff in the winter, he likes to have a hat to wear. Now, I did tell him that I can knit him one, but it's going to take a while because knitting is a lot slower than um, crocheting. Yeah, slower than crocheting a hat. Knitting a hat is slower. So I and jokingly, I said, unless I had um, a knitting machine that I could make one a lot faster. Now I do, I've always, I've told myself in the past, or I've mentioned in the past to my sisters or whoever, that I really like, you know, I like to be able to create it with the yarn with my hands a lot better than using like a knitting machine. Um, but he, I did jokingly tell him that if he wanted one faster, it would have to be, you know, I'd, I'd have to have a knitting machine to do it. And I looked on Amazon and you know, I told him that the Addy knitting machine was like $2.59 or something. And 
he kind of, you know, kind of stood there a little bit. And then he said, well, what else can you do with it? And I'm like, well, I, I'm not sure everything you can do with it. But I said, I do know that I've seen on Bag o Day, Crystal at Bag o Day has made scarves with them also. And I said, I could make some hats and scarves for wings, which is from Rose Likes Crochet. In September, I think it is, we're collecting hats and scarf sets for wings. So I told him I could could do that. So he he then said, so you could use up some of the totes of yarn downstairs and make some hats and stuff. And I said, yep, I could. Could is a key word. Um, and so he he went outside and did some work stuff and. And I came downstairs here and I got some knitting needles and some yarn. He wants it, he wanted it dark, so I picked out just a gray. And then I went back upstairs where my sisters were and started, you know, like casting on, casted on a, a hat. And he came inside, and I mean I just had a tiny bit casted on. I didn't have much of it done yet. And he came in and, you know, gabbed a little bit and, and I showed him, I said, see, you know, I, I can do it and whatever. And he said, well, how much was that knitting machine again? And I said, it was, it's $2.59 um, and that I could have it here. It would be here by, I think this was on Saturday. It'd be here by, I think it was Monday. It would um, be here. So he said, oh, go ahead and do it and I'll pay for it. So I was like, oh, cool. You know, I'll. I would do that. So I d I ordered it and I did I did get it on the Monday. Now the Monday I went to um I've done I've made plastic yarn, plarn and I've made sleeping mats for the homeless for sleeping on. And I did go to a group and it was really fun. I went to a group that met about half an hourish away from me. And that Monday night after daycare, and I sat and finished a mat that I had started because I wanted to make, you know, how you're just not always sure. And I wanted to make sure I was doing the handle parts of them right. So if I think of it, um, I'll put a picture. I did take a picture of three or four. I had four mats finished, three totally finished. And then the other one, I still had to finish the handle on it. So if I think of it, or if I can figure it out again, I'll insert a picture either here or at the end of um, of the finished mat. And so then when I got home from that, you know, the Addy machine was here and I set it up upstairs on one of my daycare tables and and I did get the um, the Addy Express King King one. So it is the bigger one. And so then I did, you know, I, I set it up and started, you know, working with it. And um, and just a little bit after I started working with it, I, I went to where my husband was and I and I brought him a hat. And so I showed him this hat and he's like, you made one already tonight? And I'm like, yeah, I told you it would be a lot faster if, you know, if I had the Addy Express, the machine to do it. It's a lot faster than making them by hand. And so that he was quite impressed by that. So then I he felt better about, you know, that was, was a lot of money to spend on something. So he felt better about what he, he spent money on. Now, I did notice that, you know, my tension was off on here. But this was the first hat I made. And I'll use it for, there's daycare kids that will wear it. Um, but this one is too big for him. He just wants, he doesn't want his to have a brim on it. For what he wants, he just wants a hat that'll just pull down. And not have to be folded up or anything. So, um, so he's not going to use this one, but I'll use it for the daycare. I have daycare boys or even the girls. If they want to go outside bad enough, they'll wear whatever I give them. So, I will use this for daycare. But I, I do think I like how it turned out. And for my first hat, you know, it turned out pretty good. I did the, you know, the end of it really well. Now I didn't think I don't know I I didn't think that he would like that part so much. So I did kind of play around with it. I I think I'll just do it this way on the next one. Um, so then the next day, I this one here was a little, I don't know, I thought he said it was a little loose. So I played with the tension. So I did make another one. Now this is a lot smaller, but look at how good my tension is. I've, I've got, you know, even tension on that one. I still feel like I see a little bit in there, 
but it's a lot better than than what the first one was. So then, um, so then I looked on YouTube and I watched some stuff about how to control the tension. I did find a seller on Etsy that sells a tension fork. If I can get this up there. Yeah, it looks like that. It's a tension fork. Now, I I ordered, I think it was, I don't remember if it was one for eight and then two for 13. So I did order two of them. And they came um, in the, you know, they came as well. And I don't know if we can see it very well. I guess we can. Um, so that's the tension fork. I think they had them in red. You know, as well as, sorry, red as well as clear. And I, I just kind of thought the clear would be fun to have. So I did order two in clear. Um, so, and then the, I used that one and that worked out a lot better. I did this last night. Um, and so I think my tension's a lot better with that. The, when I did the tighter tension, it worked out good, but I held the yarn tighter with my hand and you know how yarn rubbing in your hand are it just kind of bugged you know after a while it just kind of bugs your hand so the tension for thing does work better now I did try to play around with this one with the joining it I was trying to figure out how I could join it together without having it so scrunched up but this I don't know this to me didn't work out very well but hey I played with it so but this one does fit I just have one of these styrofoam head things but I mean it does fit on and I haven't had my husband try it out yet he's outside um and I don't even I don't even think I told him I had made another one but I mean it does fit on this head really nicely I don't like this but it is what it is I guess unless I find if anyone knows of an easier way or a different way to make it so it's not so scrunched up I did see online there's some cute um like little kitty cat girl hats to make so I think I'm going to make some of them with the Addy out of like pink or fun girl cover colors um, to send to Rose. Now I do like to keep, I love these little, this is a little storage thing. I think I get them at, get them at Walmart for a dollar something, like a dollar forty something I think. Now they work really good for, here's all my stuff for my Addy machine. And then I'll just put this card in there on how to use that fork thing. And the cover on it and my Addy machine won't stay set up all the time because I don't have I should I have a big enough area down here but I don't have a table that I can specifically leave it set up on but everything is right in this box and I do like that I can cover it and it's all put together so that was kind of what I created with the Addy machine um, I do have an acquisition I think that's when you buy something yourself I did a lot of people have shown them as well but I did play I placed a lion brand order when lion brand had the yarns on sale so I, I placed an order it's just a small one so I thought that I would share that with everyone I ordered it I placed it on April 4th and it got here on the 14th so that was pretty good that's just 10 days everything was 65 percent off so I did get, try to show them the right direction. I got four of this basic stitch anti-peeling yarn. And it does have 185 yards on it. And it's a size four. And I think you can machine wash and um, dry it. Now I might use it to make some of the hats for rows two hats and scarves also. So I did get four of them. Now the normal price is six forty nine, and I paid. I just paid two two twenty seven for each one. And this one, the color is hot pink, so it's a fun color. It would be a fun color for a girl. My my camera is kind of blowing it out. It's not. It's a little bit hotter pink than what it's showing in the camera. So I got four of them. And then I ordered four in this purple. This is called Prism. That's hanging down, but it's really nice. So this is Prism, this purple. 
it's showing it a little bit darker or deeper purple. It's a little bit brighter purple than that, but it's still, I don't know if it comes up any better, not really, but it's a fun purple. And it was the same spec, same price as the first one. And then I did get four in, this one is two pines. Oh, I'm not the right way I am. You know, you look in the camera and you you see the words are all backwards when I'm looking at it now. And you just don't know if you're holding it the right way. So it is, it's called Two Pines. I've got four of them. And it's the same price, but it has 135 yards, not the 185, because it is a um, like a variegated multicolored yarn. So that one doesn't have as much yardage. So it was 908 for three of them, for four of each color. Um, when that the other three did come like in a pack, so I I'm just leaving them in the pack till I use them. They'll still I store my yarn and totes down here. And then I did order two of a two of each color of the pound of love. So I ordered this one is taupe. I'm sure a lot of you you know know about pound of love or have seen them or have them. And a lot of people have ordered and shown off of the, the sale as well. Sorry for all the noise here. It's 100, 100, 1,020 yards. It's a medium four weight yarn. It's 100% ac acrylic and it's washable and dryable. It's premium acrylic. And so I did order two in the taupe and then two in the navy navy blue. So much of a glare down here. I haven't figured out the lighting the right way yet. Um, and normally they're $13.99 a piece and I got them for $4.89 a piece. So two of them cost $9.78. Um, shipping was only $7 so that was really good too. At least I thought it was. And it got here in 10 days so that was that was a good purchase. Um, I don't go out shopping very much. I have stores that are half an hour, hour away, but doing daycare, I work 5.30 in the morning to 5.30 at night, and I just don't get out shopping very much. And weekends, to me, are precious time. Time to stay home and craft and just enjoy the rest of my house besides the daycare area. And I am guardianship. I'm legal guardian of my cousin, who's the same age as me. He's handicapped, disabled. And so I try to go visit him every Sunday. So that takes up a good chunk of my time too. Um, he's half an hour away, one way, a half an hour. So it does a, it's an hour driving time. And then I try to spend a couple hours with him if I can too. So that, you know, takes up, takes up time. Now I do have a finished object here. Um, well, I have two of them. One of them I'll have to put a picture at the end because I they picked them up already. I had someone reach out to me that has a daughter in college and she said she was going through a little bit of depression and stuff and she just busy, stressful, whatever with college. And she showed me, a, sent me a picture of sea turtle coasters, coasters that look like sea turtles. And um, the picture was off of Pinterest because I went on looking for a pattern because she asked me if I could do it without a pattern. And I said, well, I, I can try. Um, so I looked at the pattern and stuff and I looked on Pinterest because that's where, you know, I did notice that she got the pattern from. And I did find another pattern on Pinterest, um, a free pattern. I think you had to sign up for their, on their site or whatever, but I already was signed up on their site. And um, so I did make the two turtle, sea turtle coasters. And I'll, like I said, I'll try to put a picture in at the end of them. Um, the mom really, really liked them, and she's going to mail them off to her daughter. And she's going to let me know what her daughter thinks of them. She's, I guess she's going to put them, a plant on them or a couple plants on them. So I took some pictures with, like, my coffee cup and um, water cup and stuff on them. So, And then I have another one. Before, a few, few videos ago, I showed you those squares for the baby blankets that were on the... Um, blocking mats. So I did get them blocked and stuff. I hadn't blocked like yarn related stuff like that before. So it worked out really good. It really, they came off really flat. You know, they it blocked them out really well. So 
So I finally, I got the blanket put together this weekend. So I just thought that I would share, I'm trying to look to make sure I hold it up the right direction. I'm gonna share the finished blanket with you guys. So it's just a, it's it's a tatted, tatted. <laughs> I don't know, I got tatting on the mind. Um, just a, a knitted baby blanket. See all the different patterns of so each square. There's eight different patterns. So there's eight, there's 16 squares and two of each pattern. And I did two of each color as well. So I hope I'm, I hope I'm getting it up there. Okay. To where you can see it. I think that's it. Um, but yeah, it turned out really good. I really like the pattern. It's really, it's nice and soft. Um, yeah, it was, it was fun to make. I don't have any plans for it. You know, I'm one too that I just like to create the stuff and, and play with the yarn and then I figure it out later. So I think that was about it. Um, the only other finished thing was that tatted heart and I already showed that. So again, if you want to get a hold of me for any reason, you'll have to email my email and I'll leave it in the description box below and I'll also put it up in that brick area up on top. And it's Amy Loves L-U-V-S Crafts not the regular L-O-V-E. It's L-U-V-S crafts at yahoo.com. Um, it'll be in the box below. And, and if you have any questions or want to email me for anything, that's where you'll need to email me at. Or you can ask any questions below as well in the comments. So thank you for watching my video. Thanks for commenting, liking it, sharing it, subscribing. And until next time, I hope you enjoy your crafts that you're working on. See you all later. Bye-bye.